Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a Coco Daisy unboxing of the Modern Memory Keeper subscription kit. And then I added the Daisy Dory, as they call it, or Coco Dory. It's the Traveler's Notebook Edition. <laughs> <laughs> now I am starting off with the June collection that got released in May so it is May something when I'm filming this and I've had it already a few days but I haven't done my unboxing nor have used the product so they always are like a month ahead of the actual month that it's created for so this is the June kit but they ship it in May and hence when moving forward I will get in June the July kit which will ship ship in June if that's understandable I think so <laughs> <laughs> so this one I did spend my money on this was the next kit that I wanted to try and I went with so I was doing hip kit and I had the scrapbooking 12 by 12 and I still have the March kit to still use I haven't even touched it to be honest with you um so this was the next kit I wanted to try only because I wanted to start working in more of a traveler's notebook one which you've seen me do and then I want to have um I love the kits now sorry this is all getting confused here with the I love the kits now with the pocket page cards. So that's what I wanted to try out here. So when you get the kit, this is bundled together in like a little plastic drawstring. And then this is in like a little plastic folio um, by itself. So the papers in the collection are called the Koi Pond. Um, and so the papers are similar in both kits. One is just set up like the Dory, which I'll flip through real quick right now. And the other one is kind of broken down into the Project Life cards. So here are this like umbrella, this scaling pattern paper. You're off to great places. Today is your day. I love that saying. Some grid paper, good stripe, more grid paper. I love this black and white with the foliage, this repeating pattern in like a marigold color, this orangey floral, more grid, repeating pattern, another. Oh. Name's a little off right there. Very simple prints. I love the paint splatter. Love them, love them. So, you know, hopefully I can get in enough stories in here for this month using that. This little kind of um, tutorial and a little quote. Here's the card for the collection. And then they also had this one as a filler card letting you know about referring a friend, but you can use it for any month possible that you want. There is a pack of like die cuts. Let's see if I can use them. And I'm sure Christine from Coco Daisy herself, she has a full on tutorial, unboxing everything in more detail. So a few sentiments, a few icons, there's some numbers and ampersand some labels and some more sentiments so that's a really cute and simple packet that all coordinates this is the stamp set with my kit i love this repeating one and then the foliage and then the little sushis and then there's like a definition on this side too love that some enamel dots that have glitter in them <clears throat> then all of the cards came inside this glassine bag let's flip through them quickly and they are two-sided. There's that quote again. Love these sentiments, love the colors. They're a little bit softer, so they therefore can go with more things. I, I love that. Love that too. There's a koi, there's a koi. The koi fish are cute. These are some thicker or like puffy stickers for some titles. Definitely got some puffy koi fish. Those are very dimensional. These are flat, but their stickers go with the flow and summertime and then some like swirls. And it's like a glittery white cardstock. Set of alpha. 
Puffy Alpha. Got a set of rub-ons. Very cute. I love the little illustrations. And then the papers repeat. So these are the six pattern papers that you get as a six by eight. So what I mean by they're repeating is because the back side are those again. So six different ones, one of each. Love it. And so what I'm going to do now too is do a layout either using the kit here or maybe in the dory. So let's get started. Okay, so I decided to go with a life crafted size layout, which is just slightly uh, wider than a classic traveler's notebook, if you know, because in the this album size, it will fit um, into a page protector, including the hole punch. So it makes it a little bit bigger. So what I decided to do was mark off kind of like three different size uh, strips of the cardstock, and I'm going to make three pockets. In these pockets, we'll hold some of those amazing uh, Project Life cards, um, and then I'm just also distressing the edges so that there's some texture there, and you can delineate where, this is me just stretching it, um, delineate where the pocket is in case it disappears because I did try to keep the pattern paper sync with its pattern so that it doesn't look jarring where it broke. Like where I cut it is where the next one will sit on it, et cetera, et cetera. So I had seen um, a someone on Instagram do something similar to this. I think they had two pockets maybe. I just decided to go for a third one to kind of build on that height of it. And it turned out really well, actually. I'm really liking how this one turned out. And it gives me ideas to always like keep it in mind because you can A, house a lot more photos because I am going to uh, put some on the back of those uh, journaling cards. And then I also do um, about three photos on the opposite side. So here I am using those kind of like a foamy, thicker titles. Um, I love that they're in white. They really pop off of the pattern paper. So I'm taking out the ones that say family moment and I staggered them just because all in a line it wouldn't have fit across. And I am scrapping pictures from this year's Mother's Day. So we kept it rather simple. Uh, the day before was our house's um, open house. We're in the middle of moving and selling our current town home to move into our new home. And our open house was seriously the day before. So if you've ever had an open house, you know that you pretty much stage your house to look like a model as if no one lives there. And in disguise, all the stuff that is on the counters and in the living room and the toys was just nicely and neatly as possible piled into our garage. Um, so this day, you know, we're trying to, as I called it, like reset our house. So I really wasn't we didn't make many plans like both my parents and my in-laws understood this for us and so we just kept it to a nice simple lunch at my mom's house and she had recently redone her backyard so the photos were nice and it was a simple day um, because we stayed for a few hours and then went home and like i said tried to reset our house for work on monday and school on monday too which is the next day which was a large task to do um, so I printed my photos. I believe they were like three by four and then I did some two by threes, but I um, cut them down a little bit just so that I started liking this kind of like stair step look of them on the side. And I had enough of that orangey coral paper to mat the one that was furthest away from the strip at the end. I like that cohesiveness of keeping that strip. And then I matted the other ones on black, like a tiny matte border and um, matte black border and it worked out great for them to pop off the page. So here I am now just kind of embellishing with the embellishments um, with the puffy stickers. These are the koi fish. I used a few of the ephemeras across the page and I like how it definitely makes them blend together. So this was a great technique. And on the back of the other cards, you did see me put a photo of me and Vale and then me, my mom uh, and then my daughter and my sister because I made hand printed cards that were flamingos this year and they came out so cute. Um, I've done them every year and so hopefully I constantly have... Um, ideas for the handprint cards. So I even took the time to use a few of these rub-ons. I haven't used rub-ons in forever, but these little simple doodly um, flowers worked perfectly in these spots to add a little something to the top corner and bottom and add a little bit more black to the left side of the page. This turned out really good and I even used the stamp. I used like every single kind of component of this kit and I'm very happy so far with my Coco Daisy subscription. I have to commit for three months and then I can change it up again um, and I have to decide on which subscription I want to try next. <laughs> Hope you've been enjoying me trying these out. Okay, that will wrap up 
this little layout. I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed the unboxing of this kit and how I've added all these tags. So I will go in and add my journaling. This one was just adding extra white cardstock so I had more room for journaling. And then you saw me add a few photos. I will add journaling on this one as well. I love the quote on this card from Dr. Seuss and then using the one with the parasols. Um, to hold the one of me and Valentina. All these photos were from Mother's Day this year. And then I'm actually quite impressed too because I got to use like the kit in its entirety, meaning that I used a little bit of the rub-ons, the stamping, the puffy stickers, the die cuts. Um, that always makes me happy. So, and this one too, you saw me struggle a little bit once I added this strip there um, and I backed this photo but then once I matted these with black cardstock just a really thin layer um, it really made the photos pop and work really really well so I will leave the link down below to Coco Daisy if you're interested in one of the subscriptions if you mention my name I do believe you and I get a like a ten dollar credit or something like that um, it's not an affiliate link it's just if you purchase anything or start a subscription you and I can benefit from it if you want to um, no pressure but I do, so I do love, love the kit and I will be using it now for some project life layouts too I've already kind of pulled some that I want to use um, on a spread to start off my month of May because I'm a little behind in there but this turned out fantastic I hope you consider subscribing. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell notification to know when I upload. Till next time, everyone, keep it crafty.